the Brexit commissioning editor for the Daily Telegraph newspaper and joins me now here in the studio. So uh, Boris Johnson there saying bumps in the road, mm. but we will be ready to leave uh, the EU by October the 31st, even with a no deal. Are you reassured by that? Well, certainly that's what he wants me and everyone watching to feel, a reassurance in that, yes, the implications of what civil servants are looking at in this Operation Yellowhammer um, programme do seem stark. Civil disturbances, you know, sort of energy shortages, shortages of goods, basically you name it, and it seems to be there. But then he's thinking that, you know, the adults are in the room, they're in control. But actually, the whole, the whole row about whether it's out of date, whether it's in date or not, is a distraction. Because what matters is that he's trying and hoping that EU leaders are watching this right now, that they're thinking, my God, actually, he's really putting effort into this. He's ramping it up. He's serious. He means no deal. Because his hope then is that in the coming weeks, so it's September and October 31st nears, they will then compromise on the backstop. They'll give him what he wants, because he's seeing them this week, so he'll start to see if that bears fruit or not. But that fear of a no deal is sending chills down a lot of spines. And mm. now you have Jeremy Corbyn trying to force a general election uh, to stop a no deal Brexit, but he wants to position himself as the caretaker prime minister. And he's a very divisive figure. Will MPs go for that? Well, currently, it's really quite ironic then that Jeremy Corbyn, the man whose job as leader of the opposition should mean that he's a shoe in as an alternative prime minister, is struggling to even forge this coalition against the prime minister. There is no unity in the so called government of national unity. And it's obvious because Jeremy Corbyn is manifestly divisive. If it was someone like Keir Starmer or Tom Watson, they would have had no trouble. And that's quietly damning in itself for Jeremy. I mean, does he even have the numbers to win a no confidence vote against the government? Well, this is why he's insistent that the Liberal Democrats basically agree in advance before he even tables this. Because today he confirmed with much aplomb, I am going to bring a no-confidence vote. No, not, not being clear when, how soon, what day, just at some point, you know, before the end of time, in a sense. And this is why Liberal Democrats feel he's just not got the fight in him. And it comes down to this. When you have someone like Boris Johnson, who still argues, whatever it takes, come what may, he will deliver Brexit on October 31st. If you have his opponents all shilly-shallying, all saying, I will do anything to stop Boris, except work with Jeremy, except work with the Liberal Democrats, except, except someone else who's not Jeremy, they're going to lose, and then Boris will win. Aza, thank you very much indeed for that, as ever. Aza Bennett there.